Hey guys, I um, wanted to do this quick video to show you something if you guys are homeschooling. Um, it's a great website. Um, I came across it because I was trying to find something that would help me grade um, while the kids did definitions and stuff. Um, this is a great website. We do do spelling training. Let me show you really quickly. We do do spelling training for taking um, spelling test. Let me just show you real quick. It's spelling... Um, Sorry, spelling training. Right here, spellingtraining.com. Let me find it right here. I've already showed you guys this one right here. You just enter in all of the words you want them to test on, and then it automatically grades. I've already showed you several um, videos on this. There's also lists that you can choose from, like if you have little ones, they have like first grade, they have all the way, I believe, up to fifth grade. So you have, you have a bunch of lists here, but what's cool about this is that they can actually enter in all of their words for spelling. And then they just come down here to save, hold on. Once they enter them, you're gonna go here to save list and then their, their list will be saved in case they wanna take um, their spelling test. And right here is where they say online spelling test. So you don't have to be the one grading it because it, it can become very tedious to be, you know, checking all of the kids' um, spelling tests, okay? So this is a great website, spellingtraining.com, so just to help you guys out. And then I found this one right here, which is called easydefine.com, right here. And you can go here, and they can enter in their list. And I'll show you right now on my sunscreen and the other computer. He just finished taking his test. Um, so they can put in their list of spelling words here and then once they're done with putting in the spelling words then they go here to list right here you click on that and it'll automatically generate all of their definitions so like I've always had my kids um, do the definitions on their own use the the dictionary because I feel like it helps them um, but it does take a lot of time for them to do that so this way um, they can just study the 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 definitions okay so the other thing that it has is this little button right here that says extras and it shows them like different synonyms and it says quiz yourself generate flashcards and I'll show you that right now on the other computer and then it also generates worksheets so it's really really awesome my son just quizzed himself so if you go here it'll do definition matching it'll do definitions true or false it'll do definitions multiple choice Synonym matching, synonyms true or false, or synonyms multiple choice. Obviously, my kids did um, the definition matching. So that's a, a test that they did for today. Because on Fridays, they have their spelling test on the words. And then they have a, sp a spelling test for definition matching. So it's a really great website. And then, um, so basically, those are the only ones I'm using. I'm using the home, the list, and the extras. This one over here, I'm not using so much, or I'm, I'm not using the about either. Okay, another website that I found um, that's good for homeschooling is this one right here. It's called um, yourdictionary.com. And so it looks like this. I'm not sure if you guys have come across it. So it has a dictionary, it has the source, it has examples, it says see, it, see in a sentence, uh, it has quotes, Spanish, reference, word finder. Honestly, you just type, um, I'm just trying to help myself because the grading can be really hard sometimes and um, yeah, it can it can take a while. And Anyway, um, so I just put in it as an example right here. You go and type in a word like find and you click and then it gives you the definition right here. It says find, it gives you the definition. Now let's say you want a sentence. So you want to help them with sentences. It gives you examples of a bunch of sentences right here. It has a lot of sentences that they can write from or that they can see to see how they can use the word properly. So it's a pretty good website. I like it. I was actually looking for a website that would help me um, grade their sentences. That would be way better instead of me having to grade them one by one. I'm trying to find another website that'll do that. But if you want to make things easier and you want um, them to, you know, just come and copy a sentence so that they know how um, it's supposed to be used properly, that's better. Um, I know that for school, they usually 
have them think of a sentence, which is, which is good. That's what I've been doing for, you know, for the past three years with the kids. But if you do want to cut some time and you want them just to see exactly how it's used, then this is, you know, the place to go. Or you can just have them switch some words. Like if it says Lisa, then have them change it to, you know, Rihanna glanced up to find Remy watching them thoughtfully. So you can have them just change the words uh, or names or whatever. Anyway, so I thought that was a really great website. Um, I'm probably going to be incorporating this a little bit more for the kids homeschooling. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to share that with you in case you guys were looking for some websites that would help you out with the kids. And Grammarly is also another good website that helps you check their grammar and stuff like that if they want to do any um, writing. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully that helped you guys a little bit and I'll talk to you guys soon. Oh wait, I forgot to show you um, how to use this one. Let me use the computer real quick, please. I was gonna show you guys um, how to use this website right here. Sorry guys, I had to move the chair. So my son just did these words right here. He is a seventh grader. These are the words that he just tested on. So he already went ahead and put in all of his list right here. And then you can see right here when you click this tab button, it says list. I was already forgetting, sorry guys. You can see right here that it gives them all the definitions, okay? And you can print these, all you gotta do is highlight them or they can screenshot it. Since they're doing Google Classroom, they just screenshot them. And, um, or we can print them out for them so that they can study them however you know, however they feel. So those are all the definitions right there. So you can zoom in. If they're having trouble with seeing and stuff, you can zoom in or you can zoom out. You know, I have a lot of trouble with my eyesight. So obviously, you know, I like to zoom in to see what it says. Um, you can also, hold on, let me see. You can also go here to the extras, which is what my son just took right now. He took this quiz. Um, it says right here, quiz yourself, and it says generate flashcards. So let me show you the generating flashcards so you can see how that works. Come on. So it downloads over here. And it's going to open. This computer takes a little bit longer, so sorry about that, guys. Ah, uh, this computer always takes longer. It's yeah, I just noticed that it's frozen. My kids have been complaining that it freezes up a little bit. We just actually purchased this um, computer. I'm not sure exactly what's going on. I did download a program called Adventure Academy, and I'm not sure if that's exactly what's actually making this thing slow down. So, yeah, something's act. I bet it's just the computer. It could be the computer. This computer was actually on clearance at Walmart. Hopefully, it's. I thought it was because of that. Anything? I thought it was because of Adventure Academy. I'm not sure if it was that. Maybe it's just the computer. And sometimes it's because they have a lot of windows open. That could be one of the reasons too. Um, yeah, it's a little frozen. Anyway, um, so it does do the extras, like I said. It does uh, quiz yourself. It does generate flashcards. Um, it generates worksheets. So like, let me show you definition matching. You can see view online or download word profile. It says def definitions true or false. So I'm gonna do this one right here just so I can see online. Let me see if it actually opens. Okay, you can see right here. It does generate the, the worksheet if you want them to work on it like that. So this is pretty awesome. That's how they can practice there. And then it also gives you the answers. So you can see right here. It says answers, and it gives you the answers over here on the side. So it's a, it's a great website, so definitely check it out. It's called easydefine.com, uh, and let me know what you guys think. Hopefully that helps you guys.
Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye guys.